Hello, I'm Philip Foster, a retired Church of England minister and a member of CIB, which is the Campaign for an Independent Britain. Part of this film will be concerned with what Brussels has been doing to this country in taking over its government. And what many people perhaps do not realise is that within the European Union government itself in Brussels, there has been a long battle for the last three decades. The battle has been between heads of governments of the different countries and the Commission. The Commission are unelected, appointed bureaucrats who control the policies of the whole of the European Union. The Council of Ministers, which is the gathering of Prime Ministers and Presidents or relevant um, Ministers of various departments like Foreign Ministers, are separate or were. And the battle was between those two groups. The Prime Ministers wanted the European Union to be primarily an intergovernmental arrangement. If you like, uh, equals gathering together to make decisions. Brussels, the Commission, rather wanted to have a supranational organization where they call the shots. Now, up till the Treaty of Lisbon, the battle continued. But the Treaty of Lisbon has shown that the bureaucrats in Brussels, the Commission, have now won. The Council of Ministers is now subordinated to the Commission and is being incorporated into the so-called governmental processes of the European Union in Brussels. So what was attempting to be intergovernmental cooperation has now become supra-governmental imposition by people who are not elected and not wanted. Thank you.